accidents occur on the daily at Halden Electronics. But that doesn't mean workers get to slack off, no matter how dire the situation may be. And to minimize any incidents that may occur during work, employees are encouraged to study up on the various life forms on the moons which they are assigned to. And in this training video, be ready to be introduced to our number one newbie contract ender, the Snare Flea. Spawnable on every single accessible moon as of now, the Snare Flea is a facility dweller that hangs onto the ceiling of rooms to await its prey. The creature has centipede-like features, indicated by its long, segmented body with two feet on the sides of each segment. Its pinkish-red skin usually makes it stand out in darker areas, but this is compensated for by the bug's tiny size, which makes it hard to hit at times. The multiple feet it uses to crawl on aren't exactly agile, but they do help the flea hang on to any surface for an extended period of time as well as keeping it latched onto any prey it happens to catch, which includes the faces of employees. It is nearly inescapable once an employee's head is covered by one. This is why they are called snare fleas, as they basically ensnare anyone unaware enough. The insect is particularly dangerous to fresh recruits as they lack proper awareness and have yet to learn how to properly deal with them. Ah! Ah! Help! This entity is merely an insect, and therefore it acts in very simple matters. Once a flea spawns, it will proceed to crawl to a random spot before shooting out its web straight up to stick to the ceiling. When it has attached to the ceiling, it will remain dormant until a worker passes through them. Then, the flea will immediately detach and try to land on the employee. This attack goes directly downward, so it can easily miss fast-moving employees, but slower ones will be caught. If the flea misses, it will chase the target rather slowly, which makes it particularly easy to avoid and outrun. If the flea gives up chasing its target, it will then proceed to reattach to a random spot yet again, repeating the process. If the flea does not miss, or if it successfully chases a worker however, it will latch onto their head and start slowly damaging them. The damage is negligible, taking around 5 whole seconds before killing an employee. Still, it is extremely dangerous as the flea will not let go unless it is attacked. However, if the employee is working on a solo operation, snare fleas tend to release them as they go into critical condition. Though they can be annoying, dealing with these fleas is relatively easy. As I've mentioned in the previous section, the flea's drop only goes in a downward direction, and its fall speed is not instantaneous. So. Employees can sprint straight through their nesting spot and avoid being caught by the drop. Once it has fallen down and missed, workers can kill them in three shovel hits and run away if they do not have a shovel. If running away is picked, try to keep in mind where the flea was, as it will reattach onto the wall and try to trap employees again. In the unfortunate event that a flea latches onto you, do not fret, you're not dead. Yet. Providing that you have a shovel, a shotgun or a stun grenade of course. Once caught by the flea's attack, you will drop all your items, become muffled and unable to see. There are two things you can do in this state depending on whether there is a co-worker nearby or not. First, if you're alone, do not move an inch. Stay calm and try to reach the offensive item that has been dropped onto the ground right under your feet. Pick up and use it. The flea will fall down and struggle before running away. You should finish it off after becoming free of its grab if possible. Second, if there is a friend nearby, wait for them to use the shovel, stun grenade, shotgun, or a zap gun on you. Any of these will cause the flea to drop and become vulnerable. Do not try to talk. No one can understand a word you're saying when you become muffled by the flea. Or talk anyway because it's funny. However, if neither you nor anyone near you is equipped with any offensive tools, you will have to accept your demise. Have a friend guide you towards a landmine or a pit to deny the flea the satisfaction of taking your life and to take its life during the process as well, ensuring the safety of your co-workers and to die in honor.
So that's pretty much all there is to know about the snare flea. And to sum it up, the best jury entry reads, A very large anthropod of the class Chilopoda. Its body produces a silk which it primarily uses to propel itself to places where it is concealed. Its exoskeleton is somewhat fragile, and they can die from long falls. The snare flea does not produce venom, nor does it have a strong bite. It makes up for this weakness with its ability to tighten itself around large prey to suffocate. The snare flea thrives in dark, warm areas. It cannot survive low temperature and generally avoid open air and sunlight. Take the rats outside or just beat the hell out of them. I think their insides could make a good milkshake.